All right guys, what's going on? WRX Garage, another video here. Today we're giving Scott's car a little bit more love. Um, it's actually his, it's getting close to his birthday, so we got himself a little birthday gift. So today we're going to uh, show you how to install it. And uh, first, let's show you what it is. All right, let's see what we got. Is the carbon fiber duckbill OLM? Uh, OLM. OLM. OLM uh, High Point, I believe. Okay, it is. the High Point one? Gotcha. Yeah, look at that. Alright, let's uh let's get started. We're gonna set you guys up on the tripod and show you guys how to put this on. It's super, super, super easy. Um, so let's get started. So before we get started, we have to take this off. Very easy. First, you have to remove all these pop clips. I think there's eight of them, if I remember correctly. Remove this carpet piece, and then there's two bolts that hold this in, and then there's also like three pop clips. Once you remove the bolts, you do have to like really press this up because the pop clips are in there pretty good. Uh, but that's how you take it off. Now for us, we're just gonna use the 3M tape that they supplied. You could get some type of screw, and screw it in here, but it is real carbon fiber and it weighs like absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing. So that is the reason why they don't give you hardware. I understand a lot of people are super nervous. I know Kevin um, used almost like drywall anchors for his to get his in. I've seen a lot of people use self-tapping screws and go in the existing holes, but we're gonna try the 3M tape. We're gonna test it for you guys and if it flies off, it flies off and we'll let you guys know. But uh, no, nah, I think the 3M tape should be pretty good. Um, I think it'll hold it on there fine. But first, before we do anything, let's see what it looks like on my car. Oh shit, that does look good. Especially with the carbon trunk lip. Yeah, it does. That is, so that's the high point. Wow, it is, that is high. Yeah, it does look good on the blue. I know my buddy Ryan's watching this and he's been wanting me to get a duck bill spoiler for I think before I even got this car he was like you, you gotta get to. one you gotta get one and the high points nice only because it's got that that blend into the rest of the body line yeah, I looked at the, the, the one that just starts and goes yeah, yeah I know exactly what you're saying it just kind of goes like it this flows into the body line but that a little flies, bit better yeah all right let's uh we're gonna set you guys up on the tripod um so you guys can get a good view of everything but this is a super easy install you could do this at home you don't need any tools I think it's an eight millimeter to get the bolts out, a flathead to take out the pop clips, and some scissors to cut your tape. That's about it. So, two of these screws, eight millimeter. Um, they're all the way in the corners right here. So now it's probably easier to get like a little pry tool in to just pop, because there's a clip here, here, and I think right in the middle, if I remember correctly. So once you do that, pull it up, and then we gotta clean off that surface and prep the surface for the tape, because you don't obviously want like dust, we're outside, so. You don't want any of that stuff underneath your tape because you want to give your tape the best chance of surviving at 130 on the highway. So, you can see these are the clips. So, we just got to take uh, that clip out that didn't come with it. But these are the clips and this is your little mini spoiler. We'll call it mini me. <laughs> So I'm going to use panel wipe. Remove all like the oils and stuff. So we're gonna get that all cleaned up here. Yeah. 
All right, so super easy. Just clean it off. I put it on there with the... Uh... Basically, we just got to try to match up the center with that. Yeah. And I think that's basically it. Well, I'm like... I'm pretty close to the edge. I'm right almost dead on. Okay. That looks so nice. And the carbon fiber just flows right into the color of the car. Oh, yeah. I it love it. Fantastic. Looks, uh, yeah. <laughs> that looks awesome. All right, so... Basically, you set up your tape right here. Probably do like a channel here and a channel here, and it all is going to sit in here and stick on good. Uh, so let's, uh, I'm going to actually just throw just a smite little bit of panel wipe on here, make sure that there's no oils or anything so that the tape can really stick to this. All right, so basically we used the tape that they provided, and we actually had some extra uh, double-sided tape, so we just threw it over here just to add. So basically just tape up this whole cavity part. So now we're going to peel it off so that the sticky side is showing us. We're going to aim it on and we're both going to try to push down at the same time and uh, do a first try. All right, so we are all done. Just finished pushing on it. Um, it came out actually really, really good with just the teeth. We may eventually throw a screw. He's gonna watch it while he drives. Uh, I might follow him around on like the highway when we're done and just kind of see if it's like wiggling or shaking uh, and then maybe get a screw. But if we get a screw, we'll definitely let you guys know if we had to. Um, but it came out fantastic. It just looks so good with this color. And then from the back. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Looks like it's carbon. Yeah, it does. Because it's carbon fiber on this color, it almost, from like a distance and the certain lighting, it does look like it's the same exact color, but it just looks so good. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I might have to get one of these. It's aggressive without being too aggressive. Yeah. Man, that just looks so good. What's up guys? Hijacking the video really quick here. Um, I never really got the cloud I wanted for my rec speed uh, deck bill spoiler, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick comparison of what the OLM, all of a sudden just hit me in the face, um, what the OLM spoiler looks like versus the rec speed carbon fiber duck bill. They're both in the same price range, both very good quality. Um, I also want to take a quick second to explain to you guys how I mounted mine. So Kyle and Scott actually just did uh, the 3M tape. It's, it's high quality VHF tape and everybody on the community board said, you know, that's all you really need. Um, I've never heard of these falling off with just tape, but for some reason I just, I wanted to add the bolts. So what I did was, um, I'm gonna put them on the screen here. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around. So essentially, up in from the trunk line and from the back side, um, I put these up on the screen, these, uh, but they're essentially a form of drywall anchor that you're putting up through uh, the back of the trunk here, and then um, those two toggles flatten out on the back side, and it creates that uh, thread on the inside portion, so you can put a bolt up through into it to hold them in. So I have one there and one there on this side. But uh, anyways, just to give you guys a quick comparison, um, the OLM duckbill is a bit more aggressive. It does come up a little bit more. There's a harder scoop right in the middle here. And then you'll notice that the edge here is chamfered in just a little bit more to scoop down into the body line on, uh, on Scott's car. So on my car, it's just 
it's nice even flow. Um, his just has a little bit more angle and scoop to it. Um, so um, I do think it is a bit, just from the video, I think it is a bit taller as well. So, so uh, yeah. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Throw a big thumbs up on it if you can. We got more stuff coming with this car. We actually have a really cool idea how to cheaply do your taillights. It might come out good, it might come out totally horrible. <laughs> it's gonna go one of two ways, so. We'll let you guys be. Yeah, we'll let you guys be the judge. That one's gonna be coming up soon. What else? We got more coming. Oversized hood scoop, that one's coming. So we got a lot of stuff coming for this car, blue car, silver car, so uh, make sure you subscribe, bell, so you get your notifications. And thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good day. Peace.